Hello everyone. Welcome to a new algebra session. Today we'll be talking about the quadratic function. What is a quadratic function? The quadratic function is the function that is written as f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. Let's go to example one. In example one, the question is asking us to represent the function f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 7 graphically, where x belongs to the interval from negative 1 until 7, negative 1 closed until 7 closed, then we're going to do the table of values, then draw the graph. After that, from the graph, we'll be able to find the vertex, the equation of axis of symmetry, the minimum or maximum value. Here's the table of values. Let me remind you how do we find the table of values. We replace x or every x in the function by these values, the negative 1 through the 7, and then the result is the y value. So here the negative 1 will give you 14, the 0 will give you 7, the 1 will give you 2, the 2 will give us negative 1, and so on. After that, we'll go to the graph and plot these points on the graph. The graph of the quadratic function is called a parabola. And the shape of it, it's either a U shape or an N shape. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, it looks like letter U, right? That's why we call it the U shape. The vertex is the point down here where the graph turns from, for example, going down, then turns to go up, which is the minimum or the maximum point in the graph. So here, the vertex here is 3, negative 2. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that divides this graph identically into two parts, left and right. So here, this is the axis of symmetry. This is the vertical line that we call it the axis of symmetry. Its equation is x equals, and then you get the x part in the vertex. So its equation is x equals 3. And as you can see here, this vertex, is it a minimum point or a maximum point of the graph? For sure, it's the minimum point of the graph, right? What is its minimum value? It is the y part of the vertex, which is negative 2. So here, it has a minimum value of y equals negative 2. So, from the vertex, we can get the equation of axis of symmetry and the minimum or maximum value. The x part of the vertex is x equals whatever this value is to get the equation of axis of symmetry, and the y part of the vertex is either the minimum or the maximum value, depending on the parabola, which is the graph of the quadratic function, whether it's a minimum value or a maximum value. Let's go now to example two. Another function, the question is asking us to represent it graphically. And for x values, negative two until three, and then we'll be able to find the vertex, the equation of axis of symmetry, and the minimum or maximum value. Let's start with the table of values. We replace x by negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We get out the results. If I replace x by negative 2, the result is 4. If I replace x by negative 1, the result is 0. If I replace x by 0, the result is negative 2, and so on. Where do I replace x? In the given function algebraically. The f of x equals x squared minus x minus 2. I plot these points on the graph. Here is the graph of this quadratic function, the parabola. As you can see here, the vertex is half and negative 9 over 4. For sure, once we get the vertex, we can easily get the equation of axis of symmetry. The x part of the vertex is half, so the equation of axis of symmetry is x equals half. And 
the minimum or maximum value. As you can see here, the vertex is a minimum value and the minimum value is y equals negative 9 over 4. Let's move on to example 3. Same thing. Please now, it's your turn to practice. Pause the video, answer it yourself, and then once you're done, you can just play the video again to check your answer. Here, the x belongs to the interval from negative 1 closed until 5. We can get the vertex, the equation of axis of symmetry, and the minimum or maximum value. First of all, we start with, yes, exactly, the table of values. After that, we get these points, we plot them in the graph. Here, the graph is like letter N. It's an N shape. So the parabola is an N shape. So what's the vertex that we get from the graph? As you can see here, the vertex is 2, 7. Once you get the vertex, the x value of the vertex helps us to find the equation of the axis of symmetry. So, so the equation of axis of symmetry is x equals 2. And for sure, here it's a minimum or a maximum value. It is a maximum value. That's perfect from you all. So the maximum value is y equals 7, which is the y part of the vertex. Another example, example 4, f of x equals x minus 2 all squared, where x belongs to the intervals from negative 1 closed until 5. When you graph, the question is asking us to find the vertex, the equation of axis of symmetry, and the minimum or maximum value. Here is the table of values, and here are the values that I'm going to replace to get the graph. The vertex in this case, as you guys can see, is 2 and 0. The equation of axis of symmetry, we take the x part of the vertex, so it's x equals 2. And here, for sure, it's a minimum value where y equals 0. Example 5 is a different type of question where the question is asking us to choose the correct answer. If the curve of the function f, where f of x equals x squared minus a, passes through the point 1, 0. Again, as we said before, as you guys know, whenever you have an ordered pair and an equation, so this ordered pair is representing x and y in this function. So here, in this one, this 1 is the x, and the 0 is the y. The y is the same as the f of x. So we replace the f of x by 0. 0 equals, the x is the 1, 1 squared minus a. So 0 equals 1 minus a then a equals 1. So for question 1, the right answer is 1. Question 2, if the point 3, 2 is the vertex of the curve of the quadratic function f, then the equation of line of symmetry is, we said it, that the equation of line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry, we get it from the x part of the vertex. So the x part of the vertex is 3, so here the equation of the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry is x equals 3. Question 3, the opposite graph represents the function f, where which one of these is represented by the graph? As you can see here, this graph, is it a U-shape, this parabola, is it a U-shape or an N-shape? It's an N-shape, so this means that the coefficient or the number beside X squared is negative. So here, it will be either B or D. So, you can now easily eliminate A and C. Why? Because the parabola is an N-shape. 
n shape means the number or the coefficient beside x squared is negative. So here we can easily eliminate a and c. Now, where does the graph touch the y-axis? The graph touched the y-axis here at point 4. So, when you put x equals 0, we said before that when the graph touches the y-axis, the x value is 0. So, when we replace here x by 0, the result must be 4. So, that's why when we replace x by 0, the result must be a positive 4. So, the right answer is choice B. Question 4. The graph of the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 is the graph number what? Which of these is the graph of f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1? As you can see here, for sure a is not a right answer because a is representing a constant function. So a for sure is not a right answer. And the coefficient of x squared, or the number beside x squared, is positive. So it will be a u shape, not an n shape. Now, when we replace x by 0, the result is 1. So the graph will touch the y-axis at 1. So here, the graph is cutting or meeting the y-axis at 0. But in D, the graph is cutting the y-axis at 1. Question 5. If f of x equals x squared, where x belongs to negative 2 and 2 as an interval, then f of x belongs to... You're going to replace here x by these values, by the negative 2. So negative 2, don't forget to make the bracket all squared equals 4. The negative 1 all squared is the 1. The 0 all squared is the 0. And 1 all squared is 1. And 2 all squared is 2. So as you can see here, the intervals start from 0 until the 4. 0 is closed and the 4 is also closed. Now we came to evaluation and the practicing part. Choose the correct answer. If f of x equals x squared minus 1, then f of 1 equals, as you guys know here that we replace each x by 1. So in this case, it will be 1 squared minus 1. So the result is 0. Question 2. We're going to replace each x by a square root of 2. So here it will be square root of 2 squared minus square root of 2 times the value of x, which is square root of 2. So if you do your calculations, the answer will be also 0. Question 3. If the curve that represents the function f of x equals x squared plus c passes through the point 0, 2, again, as we said it before, an ordered pair and a function, you replace the x value by x and the y value in the f of x. So in this case, we're going here to replace the x by 0 and the f of x by 2, so it's 2 equals 0 squared plus c, then c equals 2. So the right answer in this case is 2. By finishing the evaluation part, we came to the end of our session today. Thank you very much and good luck.